So we're back in some World War II here today, and basically I, I just play this game for videos at this point. And at that, like, that's even... that I, I haven't made a video on this game in, in quite a while. Also, my control freak is missing, and this... I haven't played without a control freak in months. No, but I haven't played Call of Duty without a control freak in... I, I don't even know how long. This, this, this may not go very well, especially with these busted up analog sticks but anyways the main reason we're on this game is because two days ago this bu this game actually got uh, a bunch of buffs and a bunch of nerfs to different weapons and with me you know being a sniper mainly um i just wanted i just want you know wanted to make this video pointing out the fact that the car 98 got a nerf on its ads time so far using it here i haven't really noticed apparently it's i mean i could i guess it kind of feels more like the springfield's ads time like right right here i'd say like when you hit right there is when it would like be fully ads but really it doesn't make much of a difference to me but I mean, if anything, the slower ADS time helps me just, you know, slow down my shot and be more accurate with the weapon. This guy really AFKing. What do you- I wish this was hardcore so I could kill you. But I mean, the nerf to the Car 98 isn't really the only reason I'm playing the game today. It's also, I want to start playing it again because on January 23rd, on Tuesday, DLC 1 for this game finally comes out. I don't know, I'm trying to play the game a bit more over this weekend just so I can kind of like revitalize myself to it, you know, get back into the swing of playing Call of Duty, get used to it and everything again. You know, I want to start playing the game again before the 23rd, before the DLC drops. It's also going to have some sort of resistance, um, I don't, I don't even know what it's called. Some sort of resistance event for, for the, uh, for the DLC. Well, 22-13 first game back without a control freak, I'd say that's pretty good. Oh! The new Fortnite update also came out yesterday, and I ended up making a video on it, not like displaying everything. I was mainly just like, like raw, it was a raw, it was raw gameplay of me, and my friend, getting our first win. It was like one of our first attempts on the map, and um, you know we were just playing through it. Tilted Towers, honestly, is probably one of my favorite places to drop there. I also have some concerns, you know, and stuff about the map, but I'm gonna save those for tomorrow's video, just because I'd rather talk about stuff about I'd rather talk about Fortnite while playing Fortnite. Looking back though at the patch, I think th so. This was this ADS time speed was nerfed. I believe the combat shotgun was nerfed in some way. The FG42 had a slight buff in uh, in fire rate. The uh, the the STG was had some, wait what? Dude, you're just not a good person. Really? That's how I guess that's how you have fun playing the game. I'm not gonna tell you how to play, but okay. What well, anyways, yeah, the STG was also touched in some sort of way. I think the M1 Grand was nerfed. There were a few other things that were touched, but I'm not, you know, completely sure on what all of them were. There's something that I'm just waiting to come into this game. I was hoping it was gonna, gonna come in with this most recent patch. It obviously didn't, and I'm hoping it, it, it really, it better be here by DLC 1. I'm talking about paint jobs for your weapons. Honestly, I think the, they should be in the game already. They should have been in the game at the start. I don't know why or how Sledgehammer hasn't put them in yet. I mean, it doesn't take very much effort. It's basically just, you're basically, it's basically making your emblem creator on your gun. I know there's a bunch of different stuff that goes into it when it comes to coding, but honestly... Black Ops 3 and Treyarch, they were able to do it immediately. I don't understand what's taking Treyarch so long to make this. Honestly, if the paint jobs don't come by this DLC 1, I really don't think that Sledgehammer game should put them in at all. Now, I understand, you know, again, Sledgehammer wanted to make this, you know, they wanted to make this photorealistic game that was, you know, as realistic as possible with no, like, outrageous camos or anything. Like, I mean, I, may, I don't know if they're trying to, like, say, like, oh, maybe we'll only put in certain colors. Maybe we won't let, like, maybe it's only gonna be, like, dark colors that you can put on your guns. And it's like, you can't really do that. I mean, I, if you're gonna put the paint job in, if you're gonna... Teammate, where are you going, bud? Hold up. This guy right here, where, where are you going? He just ran past all the enemies. He's still running past them. There's a guy right there. What are you doing, bud? Oh, and we just got quadded. That wasn't an actual quad feed. He killed me and that other guy twice, but we didn't die twice. That's okay, game. That's sick. But, you know, paint jobs being in the game, it's obviously not something that's going to be photorealistic, but, I mean, they can't put the option in there, show us, and, like, say, oh, hey, yeah, we're going to do this for you guys, and then just, you know, give us something that's, like, you can only use certain colors, or... I don't really think they should do what Black Ops 3 did, where you can only put it on parts of your guns. Honestly, if the paint job editor doesn't come in by DLC 1, I really don't think Sledgehammer Games should put it in at all. That's just my opinion. Some other people may think of it differently, but that that's, just, that's my stance on the whole paint job thing. I mean, it's not really... A thing because no one ever talks about it. I just think it's something that should have already been in the game. Something that bothers me, but I mean, I don't hear any other anybody else talking about it. I don't know if anybody else really cares about it. It's just something that it's like, okay, Sledgehammer, it's here. You know, when are you going to give it to us? Anyways, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the Car 98 nerf, really, it, it's, it is there. I can notice it, but it's really not something that's going to 
really destroy the gun. It's probably still the best sniper in the game. Paint jobs, I they should they better be here by uh, DLC one or else I me personally I'm gonna be disappointed. Should have a Fortnite video up tomorrow. Um, Bennett Foddy will be coming as well. I'm not sure when though, just because you know it's the weekend, people are gonna be home. I kind of have to play that game when people aren't home because I yell a lot. But anyways, uh, yeah, come most recent videos popping up on the screen here, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Gman24. Later.